using the flat side of the scoop, roll down on the bees. It disorients them and tumbles them into your cup quite easily. You might think you should scrape up, but actually a downward motion gets the most bees in your cup. Your cup should have a marking on it to show when you have a half a cup. With the bees in the jar, now you can add about two tablespoons of powdered sugar. Give it a quick roll to make sure all your bees are coated in powdered sugar. Find a shady spot away from your hive and let them rest for two minutes. After you've waited two minutes, take a few steps away from your open hive and shake your bees. I like to set the timer on my phone for one minute. It's always longer than you think. The bees have a hard exoskeleton, so shaking them like this really doesn't damage them. But they do get stressed out, so it's nice to keep them away from an open colony. After shaking the bees for one minute, we can add water now to break down that powdered sugar. Dissolve it and see if there's any mites. Sometimes you see pieces of pollen or other pieces of debris. The water has dissolved the powdered sugar and we can see that there are 12 mites in this test. Since there are roughly 300 bees in our 100 milliliter sample, we divide the mites seen by three and we have a count of four mites per 100 bees. Now that our test is done, we can release these bees back into their colony. The other bees find them curious and help to groom all that powdered sugar off. Thanks for watching our mite testing video. Hopefully it answered any questions you had about using your mite test kit. It's important to test your colonies throughout the season. Mites can come from other, other apiaries and we recommend testing your colonies once a month. Thanks again and happy testing.